Man, Ninja Stars are so cool. Yeah, they are. They're actually not called that, though. Oh, well, aren't you the martial arts purist? Really? I bet now you're gonna say they're not all in the shape of stars, aren't you? I mean, they don't, though. Wait, if they aren't? Then why are they called Ninja Stars? <laughs> so now you want to know about them. Okay, well, let me explain. What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Today is yet another episode of the series Weapons Explained. In this series we go through some of the amazing history and usage of some of the awesome weapons out there that have existed in several points throughout history. From the legendary ninja sword of choice, the ninjago, to the devil's weapons themselves, nunchucks. Yeah, I hate nunchucks if you haven't noticed. And to the Ninja Turtles out there, I am sorry, it's, it's not personal. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of personal. But we are continuing another step in the world of ninja and ninjutsu. This time in the form of Ninja Stars. Ready for cannon back, you say? No, says I. Watch this, people. Yeah, we just roll through each other part. What's that? Except that Ninja Stars! Starting off, they aren't actually called Ninja Stars. I feel like I should, you know, make that a point. They're actually called Shuriken. No, no, sure. It's a Japanese word that literally means hidden hand blade, and that's pretty much a, a really accurate description. The shuriken's original purpose was as a concealed weapon, used to be like a hidden dagger or a throwing knife designed to distract or misdirect an opponent. And they came in all different shapes and sizes. The bow shuriken, which are more stick shaped, usually consists of just a straight iron or steel spike, usually four sided, but sometimes round or octagonal, depending on whoever made them at the time. These can be thrown with a spin on them, but usually they were thrown no spin, meaning it flew straight through the air, kind of like an arrow. The Hira Shuriken, or Flat Shuriken, and the Shaken, or Wheel Shuriken, were the other two types of throwing stars. These ones are very similar to each other, one being more like a disc shape, almost like Tron Legacy, the disc in Tron Legacy, and the other being a lot more traditional, uh, you know, if you were to search Ninja Star and Google would be look, look, look kind of like that. I don't know why, I can't talk today, this is, this is bad. They both often have holes in the center of them to lighten the weight of the overall shirt. Now these were usually very targeted weapons in use, so you'd basically use them to hit very specific points on the body, points like the eyes, the face, the hands, the feet, and other unarmored places that, you know, would be easy targets. And it could be thrown for several different reasons. Obviously to stick into a target, let's say you stuck them in the eye or, or wherever, but also to be more um, devious. <laughs> like you could use them to slice past an opponent and keep going depending on how you threw them so that they just saw that they now have a cut on their arm and don't know what happened. And for someone in like, you know, the 16th century, that's terrifying. Like, imagine for just a moment that you are walking through the woods or wherever you're going and you hear a sound of something flying past you in the air. And then you look down and see a giant gash on your arm or leg or stomach or wherever. That's wild. And there's several other uses for them that I'm not even really going super in depth into. Like, for example, they could be placed on the ground for other people to step on, kind of like a cow chop or spike strip of feudal Japan. Or the utility of like wrapping it in the fuse, lighting it on fire, and being able to basically just throw fireballs. No wonder ninja were thought to have like magic powers. This is wild to like someone that doesn't know what's going on, someone that doesn't have the technology to understand that. That would just think like they would just look like someone is throwing fire at you and what do you do to that? That is just straight up magic. Speaking of modifications to the shuriken, they could be soaked in poison, and so they would kill basically anything they cut, even slightly. But the sad fact is there could be hundreds or even thousands of other ways that the shuriken were traditionally used, and we would never know about it. Unlike the all-popular and all-famous katana, antique shuriken were not really well-preserved or honestly kept at all. And that kind of makes sense because they were designed to be expendable. I mean, you don't just spend a ton of money on something you plan on covering in poison and throwing out into the battlefield, never to be seen again. But even though that does make sense, it still makes me sad because the creativity that they could have had could be mind-blowing. 
but the world may never know. The world may never know. And I feel like that reference may be older than most of my audience, but whatever, we're continuing. Now, in modern times, shuriken are usually made of stainless steel, and they are pretty commercially available in a ton of places. There are hundreds of brick and mortar knife shops around the world, and even more places online. It's like super easy to get one. But there are some countries that they are illegal, and even in different states, they're illegal in some places, so you gotta be careful. Countries like Belgium, Canada, and Germany, and states like Indiana, New York, and California are all examples of places where you can't really own or sell shuriken. So if you live in one of those places, you know, don't break the law, be careful. But that's why I like living in Texas, because I can have as many of these bad boys as I want. And if you also live in a place where they are legal to get, don't worry, I got you. I'll leave a link down below with a ton of different types of shuriken. And if you use that link, it'll actually help out the channel too. So uh, feel free. I think that site also has free giveaways every now and then for shuriken as well. So, you know, check it every now and then because you might get lucky and who doesn't want a free ninja star? Yes, I use the word ninja star, mostly because I got tired of saying the word shuriken. Oh my gosh, I said it so much today. But of course, make sure you hit me up with that HBO special, meaning help a brother out and comment and subscribe so I can hit my 75,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. It's a big goal, but it's my goal and I would love to get there. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. And if you like this video about ninja stars, check out this old video about the Psy or this other video YouTube thinks you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.